Ah, you know something that's really soluble in water? Sugar. Stop! It's full! It'll overflow! No, it won't. Stella, what's going on? Hmm. Yeah, okay. How come we can add something to a mug that's already full and it doesn't overflow? To understand what's happening, you need to know exactly what's going on when something dissolves. You need to look at it really closely. Imagine you had an eye more powerful than the most powerful microscope. What might you see when sugar dissolves in water? The water itself is made up of many tiny particles, all moving around randomly inside the container. The sugar is made up of bundles of sugar particles called crystals. When the sugar dissolves in the water, the bundles of particles which make up the crystals break up. They become completely mixed with the particles of water. All the particles move around freely and the whole solution behaves as a liquid, so you can't see the sugar. The sugar particles move around in the gaps between the water particles. There's room for them to slip in between. This means the volume of the solution does not increase that much when sugar is added. So you can add more than you think before the glass overflows.